Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, Infinity Marine Works, and today we're going to start on this project right here. This is a 24 foot center console. It's a, um, it's a boat that very few were manufactured. I'll get all the details and I'll uh, update this little segment with it uh, as soon as I talk to the owner. But it's a 24 foot center console that my client has ripped apart. He's redone pretty much everything. He did spray all grip on the hull, which you can see. Let's check out the uh, scope of work for the day. All right, so this is all grip on the hull. Uh, it still needs to be cut and buffed and all that stuff. I've got the lovely Tony over here taping off the hull. Uh, what we're doing is we are going to be spraying in Infinity Liner uh, in this, this entire hull or this entire boat is going to get lined with exception of what's already all gripped on the hull. So we're going to do the console there uh, and the gunnels are going to be ice blue. This edge here we're going to make ice blue and this is going to be whisper gray, same color as the hull there. Uh, but we're going to use uh, infinity liner. Uh, it is a marine grade liner material. And uh, it's, it not only will uh, add a thermal barrier, which are gonna put in a thermal additive uh, for the floor, which we're doing in Whisper Gray with also a traction additive. So we'll do the traction and thermal additive on the floor. We wanna make sure that feet don't get too uncomfortable. Uh, so Whisper Gray on the floor, Whisper Gray on the top edge here. Uh, with the traction and thermal additives, and then we're just doing straight up texture on the gunnels, the console, that console right there, and then we're also doing the ice blue on the belly, which we will be uh, taking care of today after I do the false keel with a marine grade epoxy. I'm gonna build up a false keel up here, eight foot down. So from here down eight feet, I've already made a mark. Right, let's see, we're gonna go all the way to here with the false keel. And uh, today we're gonna be shooting the liner on the belly uh, and I'm gonna be using uh, like I mentioned, infin infinity liner, but we're going to use an HPLV gun so I can lay it flat. We don't want the texture on the belly. So I'm going to lay it down flat on the belly and we'll do all the texture on the interior. So that's the plan for the day. This whisper gray is a very nice looking gray. Um, this gentleman has already sanded everything with uh, 80 grit. So we've got a good key on everything that needs to be lined. And uh, like I said, first order of business, I need to get that false keel on so it can cure. And then I'm gonna jump inside and we're gonna take care of all the ice blue today and then the whisper gray tomorrow. So uh, while she's taping, I'll get, get the uh, false keel started up and uh, I'll bring you back as things progress. But this thing is gonna be an amazing project when it's done. So we'll be right back when I've got more to talk about. Okay, I put down the false keel. It's got about a, about a quarter of an inch throughout. We did eight feet down. So that marine epoxy is going to cure while we get in the inside and tape everything up there. And then I'll sand it all down flat. And uh, we will shoot some smooth infinity liner on this belly. I like to go two inches on each side and then we went all the way back eight feet super strong all right time to go inside and tape some more stuff up we got this hull almost done we gotta cut and tape the bottom so uh, we don't get anything on the hull and then uh, we'll be good to go time to jump inside get some taping done on the interior all right guys we're about five hours into this job so far and let me tell you it takes a lot of time to properly prep and mask everything you don't want the liner to be on and if you don't do it well the liner is not easy to remove so uh, where we're at now is we are 
probably three quarters of the way done prepping uh, and masking prior to spraying on the first color. And um, so today, day one, we are again prepping and masking and then tomorrow we will spray. So this morning I did the false keel. I got to let that cure overnight, sand it down in the morning, and then we'll wipe everything down with acetone and get the, the belly sprayed. And then we'll jump right in here and get the gunnel sprayed and the console sprayed ice blue. And uh, then we'll move right on to the whisper gray. But let me show you where we're at. So I've gotten, I'm taping up everything that will not be ice blue that water off there um, so this rail just this edge around the whole outer edge this is gonna be ice blue and then this here is gonna be whisper gray the gunnels are going to be ice blue and then the floor is gonna be whisper gray and that console and that console and those parts are gonna be ice blue as well as the belly so it's gonna be cool um, <clears throat> I still have to back mask all these holes because uh, he's going to white gel coat inside all the cubbies and all of that. And um, I went ahead and took a can of Acid Etch Primer uh, and sprayed over all of the body filler he used. You can see uh, it used to be a dark red color and I wanted to lighten up the appearance a little bit so I didn't have to work so hard and put coat after coat after coat after coat after coat of the um, actual liner on since we are doing a very lighter blue color so hopefully that lightened it up enough uh, where I can just put a few coats on and we'll be good to go uh, the plan is to do what I like to do with infinity liner is to do two light coats wait about 30 to 45 minutes and then do another two light coats so a total of four coats uh with the infinity liner which is a really strong situation so got to back mask those holes um we're not we are masking the floor right now uh so that basically we get the ice blue in the gutter there and then we've got a mask around the console and that kind of thing i still got a couple of spots up here left to tape up but that's where we're at right now and um tony is right now masking the floor and doing a great job so i'm gonna go ahead and get that wrapped up for the day probably got another hour or two worth of this for the day and then we're heading out so I'll bring you back before we go home and uh, we will end part one of this massive job. So bring you right back. All right, this is gonna wrap up day one. I got it pretty much all taped up, ready to spray first thing tomorrow. Got all the holes taped up for the hatches and everything. So, like I mentioned already, this outer edge, the gunnels, all the way around, and both consoles are gonna get sprayed with ice blue. I'm gonna spray down in there too. that console and those parts as well and then the belly also so it's likely this is going to take us three days i scheduled it for two but i did leave a third day open and available this week because i kind of felt like it might take three days to do and today we spent about six hours masking this thing and building that false keel in the front like i showed you earlier so I'm gonna go ahead and jump out now and this will be the conclusion for part one. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. I'm over here ripping uh, holes in the plastic walking around like I generally do. 
Um, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about basically everything that's going on with me, uh, all of my businesses, Gary Dean Detailing, DetailJuice.com, and Infinity uh, Marine Works. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation if you're interested in my detailing stuff. Um, this product that we're going to be spraying on Infinity Liner, as well as the uh, the additives, the thermal additive, the traction additive, as well as the adhesive promoter. Uh, those are all products that we manufacture. Uh, Infinity Liner is the brand, uh, and we don't sell the product, we offer the service. So if you need something lined, whether it's a boat deck, belly, hull, anything, parts uh, for an off-road truck, uh, full vehicles, we can line anything, and standard is either black or white, but we definitely can tint any color. Uh, I, can, I can get any all grip color if you're looking at boat colors. Uh, if you're looking at car colors, all I need is the paint, go paint code from your vehicle, and I can get that paint as well. We can tint the liner to match pretty much anything, uh, or do whatever crazy off the wall custom colors you'd like. So anyway, check out DetailJuice.com for detailing products. Uh, and if you need me, 813-846-4406 is how you can book your appointment uh, or schedule to have something lined uh, or whatever it is you need from me. Again, 813-846-4406. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to watch the, uh, the next parts, I don't know if it's going to be two, three, or four parts, but uh, like I said, this was part one. Day one, we'll be back tomorrow morning to start another video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.